stability. Another component of food security is the time element. Food insecurity could be categorized as either chronic or transitory, with the former representing a situation where the lack of food is a permanent feature and the latter describing a temporary shortage. Because I said I don't want to bore us with uh, many things, I have about three or four projects that we did regarding this area. But if I am if I'm opportuned to come anytime, maybe I might showcase all those projects. Before you can say we have a very good product from farm, many things will have you know come to play. We did a project, maybe it is ongoing here too, or you must have done it. If you have a farm at a very far place, we can irrigate the farm from here using iOS. Using your phone, there will be some uh, modules I'm going to use. The thing that by the time you see that the farm is not wet, it's dry, there will be a signal sent to your phone. You see it, then you cannot press either one or two. Like the way we used to load our credit card or our phone. That if you want to uh, buy from MTN, press one. If it's Airtel, press two. Then, if your price, if you want to buy is 750, you press one. If it should be auto renewal, press two. Such a thing was used as a code for this product I'm talking about. If the farm is dry, there will be a signal sent to your phone. They want to automate the pump to waste the farm, just press one. The, farm, the, the pump will just automatically release. By the time it's now released itself, eventually by the time it now gets wet to a certain degree, then it will switch off. So all those things was something that we have to make sure in engineering uh, family we embrace as a family. One thing is that as we are here, we have many things we can think about. Can somebody tell me what makes Ayefele to be like that today? Because it was sent to go and fetch water by his ogre, by his boss. Why can't the boss have a bowl in the house? Are you getting what I'm saying now? Eventually, today, if they say he should go and fetch water, will he go? He had boys working for him. But this time around, we have technology being advanced more than that. If one rain to be, to, be, to, to, uh, to be here within the next five, ten minutes, you can, there's something you can do. So in terms of food, we have many things we can use to showcase how we can use engineering to assist in food security. Look at this, this guy. On a good day, we have something you call us power. That's power rating. You know, this is uh, lawn more we are seeing. The story about Long Moa was that there was a man that was working at one uh, wool company. He now saw the machine that used to cut fur from this uh, wool of uh, animals. He now designed a, something that can be used to be cutting grass like that. But eventually, by the time he now did that project, it was too cumbersome to be pulled or pushed. About two or three people will be pushing the Long Moa then. And by virtue of that, it's just be, you know, disturbing the environment. In all thought of what they can do, what can we do? They now change the design that if they should be doing that, why can't they reduce the size of that lawnmower? To the extent that horse will be pulling it. So when the lawnmower is at the back like this, horse will be pulling the lawnmower. So that's what we call one horsepower or two horsepower. That's the power rate of that lawnmower then. Eventually, they couldn't just do that again. They now say, what can we do? Now say, okay, let us have something that can, that can be put in petrol, then fire it. They did that. Eventually, that rating was what we are using as a power rate of lawnmower then. To the glory of God, we have advanced more than that. We did about three or four projects regarding lawnmower. One was a solar-powered lawnmower because we wanted to eradicate two problems, noise pollution and hair pollution. How do we do that? Without petrol, lawnmower can never work. By virtue of putting petrol there, there will be ignition of the combustion engine, it will be emitting smoke, 
that is air pollution. Then it will make noise, that's noise pollution. Why can't we now eradicate those two things? We did it allow tech then, and then just power the lawnmower, eventually it triggers off to be working. We have to be pushing it. Why can't we advance more than that? And I said, okay, instead of pushing this thing, let us make a robotic lawnmower. We did it. It worked. As we are sitting down here, we can move Nigeria technologically. I'm charging my brothers and sisters here. Don't just go for two times two or three times three. You know the picture we used to learn when we were in secondary school? Draw mosquito, draw cockroach. What are you using those drawings for today? It's useless. But they were only teaching you to know how to think what this one can do, how it can push forward, and why you can just use the initiative to do something extraordinary. To the glory of God, uh, there was a competition done by Firo. That was, a, was not this year. Firo is a federal suit of uh, at Lagos. This uh, Nigeria, they, they used to do BB Niger, where boys and girls will be locked in a house and they will be making nonsense out of their life. So, eventually, they will say eviction. We have about 30 people in the house. We now have three people. You see them dancing to nonsense. When their mates were making millions outside technologically. So, the Pharaoh came to, to foyer for a program and then we tapped into that. We charged them that they should be doing something like that for engineering students as well, or science and engineering students. They did that uh, program at uh, Osho de Lagos. We had, they had about uh, 50 evicted, 25, remained 25. Eventually, that 25 was now reduced to 10. Out of 10, they will pick three best students. The first person will be awarded 25 million, second will be awarded 15 million, and third will be 10 million. It's a pity, it's part of what I presented at uh, Umbot uh, College uh, two days ago. I didn't pack it because I think we don't have much time here. So eventually, they have to write a program to solve agriculture problems. All of them did. The first person that won came from Lautech. Second person, I don't know where that one's from. The third person came from a oh yeah, Mechatron student. The first person was my student at Lautech. Though I don't like how he won, because I want the glory to come to where I'm working now. I'm not being selfish, sorry. What I'm trying to say is this. Whatever we give you at school, you can improve on them. We won't tell you there's a problem here, go and solve it. You have to think of what can we do to alleviate the problem at our environment. In terms of food security, I've just told us about two or three problems that could be solved. Please, back to that uh, picture. Look at that us. On a good day, when there's no load on this cart, it could pull it. Am I correct? Am I correct? Yes or yes? No, it's not an option. By the time they are putting load one after the other, it will be increasing. Okay? By the time it now gets to a place whereby it couldn't even carry that load again, what happens? The load will lift the man up. So what's the implication? If food could not drive us to a logical conclusion, we are supposed to drive it to the logical conclusion. If you don't eat good food, you are going to embarrass us in the society. You know, they say somebody that doesn't do the wedding of, uh, I mean, sorry, the burial of our mother very well. We have to really assist the person. Why? Because of uh, odor. Not minding if the woman is good or bad. So, we have to really get the right balance, which is very, very important. Next, please. How do we now get the balance? The growing human population and the increase in use of natural resources are generating a series of negative effects on ecosystems, such as pollution, loss of genetic diversity, soil fertility declining, climatic changes, decline in yield, deforestation, and certification. Agriculture is asked to satisfy two apparently contradictory needs. 
One is to become more productive and at the same time, more sustainable. That is, to supply the food needed without depleting renewable resources. Next, please. The human race is totally dependent on agriculture, and as world populations continue to expand, there must be continuous reassessment of agricultural practices to optimize their efficiency. In many parts of the developed world, such as Europe and the US, agric is a highly efficient industry and continues to demonstrate annual increases in uh, productivity. In contrast, many developing countries are still not self-sufficient in food production due to many reasons such as lack of good agricultural practices, hostile climate, or political instability. I was, I was uh, somewhere one time, that was, the, uh, that was the Maryland. I, 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 I visited a friend of mine there. He now took me out to one a tree. They call the place buffet. When you enter that place, just pay $10. When you pay $10, and you enter, you can sit down there from morning till evening, be going around the table, be eating, come back, eat, go, pick, eat, from morning till evening. Guess what? I spent three days there. I thought I would be like my VC when I come back, but I couldn't. It means eating does not mean if you eat like a gluten, that doesn't mean you are okay. I was wondering if Nigeria should get to this place, they will go bankrupt. But eventually, I asked myself, how do they survive? The Chinese were bringing food to that place. Indians were bringing food to that place. There was Amala at that place. Look at Nigerian food. How did they survive? And I see that they give priority to all those food. They said, if you can eat very well, then you will think very well. Then God bless America. And with that, that one in Nigeria, this of the same goblet that they will say, ah, Nigeria, no go better for you. So we are the one killing ourselves. But if the food is okay, then I think we are, we are good to go. What can we do? Myself and you, we have to sit down and think of possible ways of alleviating our problems in terms of engineering-wise. Many different societies are intrinsically poor and lack the ability to take advantage of new technology Hence, they suffer from food crisis situations. Breeding crops and animals that produce higher yields of better quality but do not adversely affect the ecosystem can be achieved only through a very broad scientific input. What is food science? It's defined as the discipline of applied chemistry, engineering, microbiology, medicine, and molecular biology to create, prepare, and process food. It means if you are not in mechanical and you are in chemistry, we have to come together and make sure we impart knowledge to make sure food is secured. They use science as to produce, process, evaluate, package, and distribute foods that are nutritious, palatable, and what? And what? And safe. Nobody wants to eat something that's not safe. Next, please. Methods that food scientists employ include basic research, product development, quality control, processing, packaging, labeling, technical sales, and market research. Look at that packaging. Government agencies such as NAFDAQ regulate and inspect all phases of food production to ensure that consumers have food that is both wholesome and safe. Look at all what we have as food there, grains, vegetables, fruits, and the likes. Each one asks what value they have to our body system. But we can't just get them like this unless engineers put in their best to make sure we have a loadable product. Food labeling. That reminds me of something. Somebody went to buy uh, a drug. They said, shake before use. Eh? You know what this person did? Shake before use. Not like this. Not shaking body. Shaking. Now you do something. Can you see that? Intellectually, it is not too good because he couldn't understand that language. So when we label any food materials, the first thing we have to check is, is this safe to drink or to eat? Expiring date. They bring, 
They bring something that has passed from over, 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 overseas to our country here. What do we do? Somebody develops a software that can detect if food has expired or not. That's part of what we can do. Somebody develop a software that can detect if you are lying. That's part of it. How much do you buy this thing? Ten era. You see the zigzag. Piam, 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 piam. You are a liar. Eh? How much is this? Oh, 20 naira. Thumb up. So we can, as engineers, develop many software that can assist in food security. Do you agree with me? When the fuel is about, about to finish in your car, you have some car that can tell you, oh, fuel is about to finish. Somebody bought a car. Why going? You know, the car just developed a fault. And I say, I have to report it to my owner. That's car speaking for you. That's technology. In area of food security, we could develop many softwares depending on what we can conceive as an idea. So, in Nigeria, we have NADAC that can, you know, check that one for us. Next, please. Food labels are required to include information about nutritional facts, recommended daily allowances of the product based on serving sizes. You can check all those uh, labels there. The product, the service, the calories, nutrients. You know, there are mix that are meant for old people. There are mix that are meant for young people. Depending on what the calorie you are looking for. So, another thing is that labels also tell the consumer about the natural and addictive substances in the foods. Some have to eat a low-calorie food. Why some really need those calories? So, depending on what you want. Next, please. Food processing from grower to consumer. Farmers and ranchers grow the food we eat, including fruits, vegetables, cereal, grains, meat, and other foods. So, food must then be processed, cooked, packaged, and transported. All these things are engineering what? Engineering what? Work to be done. You know, before you can process, people have to do that. Then people can say, okay, this machine can do this. And this can do this. Like I said, it's only because uh, of the time. There are about two or three projects that I feel maybe I can send to the faculty to be added to the PowerPoint later on so that we can just uh, add it to this one. The food system. Look at this agriculture and uh, aquaculture. They are two different things. One is for home. Why one is found where? In the water. So the two, they have different calories to be added to the body system. But how do we assist the food security in this area? Because if one is depleting in the system, it will affect the other one. Look at this time, this time around. They said Boko Haram and all Fulanis, they were, they were using our land to graze, this and that. And they, let's assume they know how to grow grass technologically. You don't need to come down here. Have you ever seen, a, I mean, a, this a white man having eggs within a day? Eh? They have fowl coming up within a day. So those are part of technological advancement we can make. But it's not too good for our body system. Next, please. Some of the allied food industry include steel companies that make cans, chemical companies that produce foods, preservatives, and plastic companies that develop food packages. Firo did something. They have all these kind of a projects, you know, they, they make them, make palm wine that can last for a year. They make kunu that can last for a year. They make all those things. How do they make it? If you don't even have fridge, it will even last longer than necessary there. So, food processing. Next, please. Slide. Food processing is used to reduce spoilage, contamination source, moisture, temperature, and all those things, they affect food if we keep them at home. Next slide, please. Next slide. Manufacturers purchase food from growers and prepare or process the food to be stored and sold at wholesale operations and grocery stores. 
So each one of them has where they must operate. And uh, in terms of uh, technological advancement, next slide this. Put by technology, benefits and potential risk. Fruit producers use technology to solve problems such as pests, disease, hunger, infections, and poor soil quality so that they can provide a sufficient amount of raw food for an increasing world population. So, by next slide, please. In the early 1900s, scientists introduced chemicals that could be used on crops to increase yields and maximize the growth of raw food. But this time around, the other way around is the case. However, concern over the way that increasing amounts of chemicals used on crops may be impacting our bodies and the environment in potentially harmful ways has led to the development of new methods of pest control. I'm very sure we have not, uh, this is not the first time we are seeing drones on this campus. So we can design a drone that can be spread, that can be scaring birds away. Instead of throwing stones or this and that, there are drones that can be used for that. That's aspect of uh, food security. This is biologically altered agronomic crops, integrated pest management techniques, and organic farming methods have been offered as alternative farming methods. Genetically modified organisms such as pt corn have provided alternatives to chemicals. While concluding, in response to the food crisis in developing countries, governments, research institutions, and donor agencies will have to come up with a variety of technical, policy, and institutional interventions, ranging from refocusing agricultural research and reviewing food security policies to the provision of emergency food aid. Technological advancements in the area of agriculture based projects should be appreciated and support should be given to the educational sector in terms of finance so as to make worthwhile research that will improve food production. While concluding, I think uh, what I would just like us to do is to form a team, because that's what we used to do. We used to form a team, a team of two or three students. We just give them as lecturers that, look, we want to solve this particular problem. And it will be time based. So that before they could just say, maybe two or three weeks into their exam, they have gotten to a certain level. Somebody did something. This is a, a robotic lawnmower. No, sorry. Uh, a cut grass. Okay, it's lawnmower. You see, by the time you say you want to cut grass, you are using energy, maybe battery or anything. But to cut a, you know, the big trees, there are some things that they use these, uh, these days. And again, they don't even use the, what they call the Igba, to climb a uh, palm tree again. You know that? There are some steps they use to climb. This is an agricultural school. We can showcase many things to decide to know that landmark is leading in every area of agriculture. And in terms of technology. So thanks for bothering you with my beautiful presentation. Thank you. A round of applause again for this. I'm very sure we have been highly enlightened and educated about how engineering can intervene in food security. We are now at almost the end of the program, uh, the question and answer period now. And we have, I'm just going to take only three questions. So who has any question? Let him identify himself. Any questions? At least one of us will be able to ask one or two questions. Martin can please, please. I'm making us understand that you understood everything that was being passed across. Okay. My prof will have a question. Another question? Okay. My prof, sir. Sir, doctor, that was a good presentation. Uh, this is a, a, my question, or maybe it can be a question or maybe suggestion. Uh, this kind of presentation. I want to know, is there no way we can add or bring up what, what 
the food security. I mean, sorry, storage. Storage uh, means because for you to have food security, we should have an opportunity to store the food. We are talking of security. How about if I finish today's food? How will I eat tomorrow, next tomorrow? Is there a way I can store? What can I do to have storage? Thank you, sir. Uh, there are many ways we can have those things stored. In one of my papers, uh, silo storage. We have computer day design using, I mean, to assist in storing all the, the food we have, you know, made. One, you know, it, this with temperature of the environment, okay, and they're so far so good. It depends on what we want to store. We want to store maybe maize or rice. In the olden day, we use barn to store. But now we have we now have silos that we use. So there is a a program being called computer aided design for silos that we can even use. So the timing of when the the food is entering the silos will be recorded and taken, and how long it's supposed to stay there. So that uh, before it could be, you know, getting uh, bad or maybe deteriorated. So there are many things, many ways we can get our food stored. So it won't be, it won't be spoiled. We have, we have uh, many, many ways of doing that. Thank you, my brother. Let's clap for him. Let's, we can do better. We can do better. In Landmark University, we have a tradition. And that tradition is whoever comes here will make a mark on the person. And in doing that, with due respect, can we rise as well? I invite the Vice Chancellor of Landmark University to do the needful. The Vice Chancellor, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Please come forward, sir. Behalf of the King College of Engineering, the faculty, staff, and students, we present this to you. Beside every successful man, there is a woman, and even though our our uh, guest lecturer today is not as fat as uh, Professor Ibikunle, <laughs> but you know, it's not just about fatness. You can see the glory of God radiating. And so there is somebody that God is using to do that work. He's also here with him. I want to call on his amiable wife to come for this uh, presentation. Do you not yet over? Sir, please, one more time, sir. Our guest speaker, please move forward, sir. Can I call all our HODs here to assist me in this uh, presentation? On behalf of uh, College of Engineering, this is a certificate of recognition presented to engineer Dr. A.A. E. Adekunle as a meeting guest speaker at the College Week of the College of Engineering entitled Engineering a Panacea for Food Security. Signed by me and yet to be signed by the team. A round of applause once again.
We are moving to the end of the program. I have a call on, I have a call on Dr. Olamidola Wali for the closing remarks and vote of thanks. Thank you, Henry. The Vice Chancellor, sir, followed up with the course duly observed. It is a real privilege given this opportunity to give the closing remarks and vote of thanks in this Maiden College Week of Engineering to our presenter, Engineer Dr. Adekunle. <laughs> I was particularly impressed by Dr. Adekunle's lecture when he discussed engineering. He defined engineering as a profession that puts power and materials to work for man. And then he mentioned and discussed food security extensively. He mentioned four key parameters relating to food security, which are physical availability, economic and physical access to food, food utilization, and the last one, stability of the other three dimensions mentioned. Another key thing I liked from the presentation was that it challenged the potential engineers. Thank you, sir. Since our school is an agrarian university, that what should we do? I mean the potential engineers, our queens and queens, that how can we solve the challenge of food security out there based on what we've learned so far and from what we learned from this presentation? As engineers, we need to impact knowledge to ensure that food is secured via technological advancement. The question is to the queens and queens in the house, what can you do to improve food security out there, to bridge a gap in what is happening presently in our nation? Well, I will conclude by saying that we appreciate engineer Dr. Adekunle for a memorable lecture and also for sharing his experience at this time with us at Landmark University. We wish you a safe journey back to your destination. Thank you and God bless. Once again, class round of applause. Before we close the program, we are to have the program from photographs. So I will call again the Vice Chancellor, sir, with the presenter and the wife for a photograph and the dean of Project Engineering for a photograph. Then after this, all of us, and they show this, and they show this, please. They show this, yes. Then after this, everyone, everybody again will take the photograph.
to end this program, I hereby call on the King Engineer Dr. A. <laughs> Okola for the closing prayer. Shall we rise up to pray? Point of correction is Pastor Kwala when his spiritual assignment. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you all the glory for Lord making this day reality. Thank you for the impartation of knowledge. Father, the challenges that are raised, we receive grace to procure solutions to food security militating against our nation and Africa in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit the speaker of today, Engineer Dr. Adekule, as is going back, and his wife. Lord, lead them back safely to their destination in Jesus' name. Father, we ask for more grace upon him. Thank you, Lord, for the College of Engineering. Lord, thank you for the role the college is playing and yet to play in this university. To you be all the glory, to you be all honor and adoration. Father, for the remaining part of programs, concluding this college week, Father, take preeminence. Let your name be glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of our Lord. Amen. I have dominion, and I take dominion. Congratulations, amen and amen. We are all blessed in Jesus' name.